Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As part of my network penetration testing and ethical hacking course, I'm going to show you how hackers carry on a man in the middle attack by creating fake access points and allowing users to connect to them. Once that user is connected to that access point and accessing the internet, the hacker will be able to intercept all of the data that is being transmitted over that network. Within that data, hacker will be able to see user names and password and other personal information of the user. Before we begin, I'm going to show you how a network works and how data is being transmitted over an internet. Okay, this is a typical network. Consider yourself as a client or your devices as a client. On this network, you have three clients, which can be any devices, including tablet, laptop, or smartphone. Once the three devices is connected to an access point or a router, this router serves as middleman between this device and the internet. The access point will be able to transmit that request to the internet nestle and wait for response from the internet let's take for example this device it can be laptop or smartphone want to access the internet so this device will have to send a request to the access point and the access point will forward that request to the internet next the access point will wait for a response from the internet and then will send the response back to that device this is how the internet works so all of these three devices before accessing the internet they have to send all of their requests to this access point and the access point will have to initiate a session between them and the internet so this access point can be a router or any intermediate device that allow you to access the internet Basically, this access point is viewing all of the requests and response that is being transferred to and from the network. Since we know how the internet works and how access points serve as intermediate between the internet and the device or the client, so now once an hacker serves as an access point between you and the internet, it is game over for you because the hacker will be able to see and intercept all of the traffic that is being sent over the network. And then he can do a whole lot of cool stuff like man in the middle attack, he can do evil twin attack, he can do ARP spoofing attack while intercepting your traffic and even redirect your traffic to another website. And that website can be a malicious website or a website that is created by this hacker in order to install malware or spyware on your mobile device or on your computer. This will be just a little taste of what the hacker can do because there are so many cool attacks that hacker can carry on once they are man in the middle. Okay, let's take for example, you are traveling in at the airport. While sitting waiting for your flight, you are out of internet. While searching for a Wi-Fi network, you see Terminal 1, which is your terminal that you are currently at. And then you decide to connect to this network. Once you are connected, not knowing that it is the hacker network, once you connect to that network, the hacker will be able to see all of your data and information that is being transmitted over the network. If you are paying, he will be able to see your credit card details. If, if you are feeling informed, he will be able to see all of your personal information. If you are sending chat, he will be able to see everything, all of the data that is being transmitted over that network. The hacker will be able to intercept that data and he can even redirect it to a malicious site, as I told you earlier. And you will be able to fill in the information or install a malware or spyware on your computer. This attack is very dangerous and can lead to so many breach of confidential information. So now I'm going to show you how the hacker do this to create a fake access point. Use this computer to create a fake access point and then this computer is serving as middleman between you and the internet. Once you send a request that I want to visit or site www.google.com, the hacker see all of that request and forward it to the internet and the internet gave a response. The hacker will be able to send that response back to your computer and you will be able to receive the response. So this is how they work. So while the response is being sent back to you, the hacker can modify that response and send his own response to you. So for this attack to work as a hacker, firstly you need a computer with an active internet connection. It could be an Ethernet Zero, it could be a Wi-Fi, it could be a virtual network, it could be any wireless network. And then you need a wireless device. This wireless device will be able to broadcast your signal and tell neighboring device that I am a network, you can connect to me. And once that device connected to that network, there where you can start to intercept their traffic. Then now our computer will ask as a router, so neighboring device can see our computer as an internet access and will be able to connect to them. So these are the three requirements for this attack. An interface with internet access, as I said previously. This interface will be able to broadcast your signal to allow other neighboring device to connect to your network. And then a computer, this computer will serve as a router or an access point that will be able to intercept all traffic that is being transmitted over the internet to this router or this access point. And then you also need a wireless adapter that supports AP mode or monitor mode. 
Not all wireless adapters support monitor mode. Some wireless adapters by default do not support monitor mode. I will put a link in the description highlighting all of the wireless adapters that support monitor mode to be able to see and view traffic while it's being transmitted. And you can purchase this adapter from any computer store or for any electronic store. It is less costly. It will take you around four to five dollars if you are in the US. And in India, it take me around 350 to 400 rupees within that range. But there are so many different type of adapter. But for mine, it will take me around 300 to 400 rupees. So I'll put the link in the description box and you can check there for all of the wireless adapter that support AP mode, access point mode, or monitor mode. Once you are main in the middle, you can pair for Evo Twin and you can even be able to hack in the WPA2 Enterprise Network, which is currently the strongest encryption standard that is used for all wireless communication. And you can also be able to intercept traffic from WPA and WEP network. So in my next video, I'm going to show you the practical part of how to create this access point and how to intercept traffic over the network once you are a hacker or you are a man in the middle and how to steal username and password and all of the data that is being transmitted over your network so thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification button to get notified whenever i upload a new video